Okay, guys. Um, I've had actually a good handful of people purchase some of the new little Deltas the last few days. And then a bunch of people asking me questions about, you know, what the differences are. So let's go ahead and answer a few questions here. So you can take a look. And let me see what we can see here. Right there. Let me try to get it in the screen here. The, the, the top one is the LB. And then the bottom one is the Delta. And you can see the leading edge sweep on the LB. Oh, it's probably not a good video, but let's do it anyways. Uh, leading edge sweep on the LB is, uh, I think, around 33 degrees of um, rearward sweep. And then on the Delta, it's 45. So, um, you know, to, to, to kind of talk about the differences. And then here's another, here's another just regular LB right here. Um, I made a whole bunch of these the last couple days. And we've sold a bunch of these the last couple days. And the thing is, is some people seem kind of, uh, you know, like, what's the difference? And I'm like, well, the Delta is going to fly on super, you know, super light gear. It's going to hit CG a little bit easier on lighter gear. Um, yanking and banking, it's not going to be as square and clean in its handling on the yanking and banking. But your forward flight might have a little less wag and it'll do nice cruising on light gear. Um, when the little bastard, the LB standard non-Delta, is going to require a little bit more nose weight, it's gonna fly more like a Chevron, it might get a little waggy at times in crosswinds, but it's gonna turn more square, and it will you know, loop and handle in aerobatics a little bit uh, cleaner. So, you know, it's just kind of a, a give and take. Once you go through and you start sweeping the crud out of these things, you know, then you end up having, you know, a little bit different turning issues and then it'll barrel roll a little more. Um, but, you know, basically they have the exact same, almost literally the exact same amount of wing area. But the, the Delta's 17 inch wingspan, like almost 18 inch wingspan. And then the LB, I think it's what, 20, 23 inch wingspan. So it's slightly more wingspan. But it's really when we take it apart and work it. We're not really taking it apart and working it a lot of the wing out. You know, you're not taking a lot of wing area off it. So I'm basically just cutting more sweep at the root and then cutting it. So it's a different sweep angle at the root and tip, you know what I mean, in the root. And then the tip when we cut them to make this aircraft. So I wanted to turn the camera to make it a little bit wider so you could see more what I'm talking about here. But uh, um, we cut, I think we got about eight of each one. Um, the last few days that we're cutting here and then we're getting ready to do all the improvements in them. So if you're wanting one of these little deltas, it looks like Rusty's been able to, you know, tune it up and fly it on very light gear. Um, I think what around a 1000 or a 900 milliamp battery. I still might be wrong. I don't, I don't know. But, uh, so, and it's going to be winglet only and, and same with the LB, but I've had uh, people in the last couple of days come in and they're buying, you know, like two LBs and two of the LB deltas. So, um, we went through and cut a bunch the last couple of days. So we're going to be building them out. So if you're interested in one of these little planes, super durable, drac foam, crazy, we'll have them set up and, and they're going to come with, a. Uh, uh, a motor mount that will take 1806 um, or uh, I think the 22 size, um, you know, patterns on the motor bolt. So um, very simple build, very easy, um, light and small. Um, but hopefully that answers some of your questions because I've been hammered to questions the last few days on both of the aircraft. And I'm like, okay, let's just do a quick video here. So 17-inch um, wingspan, 23-inch wingspan. They both have their place. They're just both a little bit different in handling and will balance a little bit different on different and lighter gear. So, so if you're looking for something super light, that's crazy durable. Um, here you go. We can, uh, I can even supply 1.5 laminating film or three, three mil laminating film and they will be crazy, crazy durable, um, on just the tiniest, lightest gear ever. So thanks guys. I'm going to post this up and, uh, let me know if you have any questions.